Hi guys, Ro 34 here. I'm here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 9 to iOS 8.4.1. Now, here are a few reasons why you might want to downgrade back to the other iOS software and this is because you might want to jailbreak on iOS 8.4.1 in case that jailbreak comes out before the iOS 9 jailbreak or you just simply don't like the new latest iOS 9 and I don't know why I did that I, I really don't know I'm sorry but I recently updated to iOS 9 and I went to cellular data to turn on some data to use for my apps and as I exit settings it just turns off automatically I don't know why so yeah so yeah let's get on with the downgrade okay so I'm on the best website to download the IPSW for the software that I want to downgrade to. I'll just scroll down even more. Jesus, I got cold, sorry. All right, so. Mine's an iPhone 5, and there's GSM or Global, and I'm just gonna quickly check which mine is. I'll link this website down in the description as well. Okay, as you can see, there are the models there. I'll just zoom in. Alright, iPhone Global includes A1453, A1456, and A1429, and GSM A1533, A1532, I believe, and A15. No, A148, Jesus. There's a mouthful. And at the back, if you look on the iPhone, it's going to be quite hard to see on the camera. But I can see it quite clearly and my model is A1429. Which means it's a global model, so I need to download the... I need to click on iPhone 5 global as I just did there. Hopefully you can see this. And then I need to select the iOS version. All right, there are possible, there's three possible softwares I can download, which is iOS 8.4.1, iOS 9, or iOS 9.0.1. And I want to downgrade to 8.4.1, so I'm gonna click on that, and then click download. I will be back once the IPSW has finished downloading. As you can see, I've downloaded the IPSW. It's finished. I recommend putting it on the desktop as it is easily accessible. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to show you that my iPhone 5 is on iOS 9. Go to General. In Settings, go to About. Scroll down to the version and it is if you can actually see it, Jesus. 8. No, so iOS 9.0.1, sorry. Yeah, so I'm on that software at the moment on my iPhone 5. I'm going to go into iTunes, back everything up to your computer, and then you're going to want to press Shift. Hold down Shift. Oh my God. Jesus. Hold down Shift, and then left click on restore and then it, this window will pop up then you want to go to desktop because that's where you put the IPSW as you can see it is there by the way if you want to jailbreak I wouldn't recommend it because I did that to my other device and it slows down your phone I haven't jailbroken this one because there is no Cydia and that's how you tell if it's jailbroken an iPhone for restore okay but when you actually downgrade you can't back it up to 
you can't restore to a backup on a higher version so you need to revert to the backup you had on iOS 8.4.1 so iTunes has recognized my iPhone waiting for iPhone preparing iPhone for restore ooh there's the Apple logo the classic Apple logo oh my god Jesus how many times is it going to do this okay and there's a line underneath the Apple logo I'll be back when it is done as you can see it is currently verifying iPhone software and the line is making progress so yeah this is good you should not be worried about this step and yes as you can see it is working I'm so happy with this because I didn't really like iOS 9 because I couldn't use my data it's working thank god be back when it's done. Just to warn you, you can only downgrade back to the previous iOS 9 software that Apple is currently signing. As you can tell by that website, which will be down in the description where I downloaded this software. If it's green, you can downgrade back to it, and if it's red, you oh, and the line can't. is nearly done. It is just currently rebooting. See Apple logo there, all good. There's my iTunes library. Oh, I have two Avicii songs. Oops, didn't recognise that. It's just currently rebooting. I'll be back when it's oh. finished rebooting. And I'm on the setup menu, as you can see there. I will just and run through it. And it is at the start screen. Go into settings. Go to general. Oh god, hopefully you can see this. Go to about. Scroll down. As you can see, I have successfully downgraded it to 8.4.1. Thanks for watching this video. It's been Rory384. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.